I was adopted. I'd always known that I was adopted and always been interested in finding my birth parents, at least my birth mother. When I was 30, I found my birth mother, only unfortunately she had passed away of bilateral breast cancer. Her husband put me in touch with her doctors who recommended that I get genetic testing. I was on the highway, get the call from John Hoffman, my longtime doctor here at Fox Chase. I say, Doc, give me the good news. And he says, I can't. And I was like, really? No, give me the good news. <laughs> he says, I can't, you have breast cancer. Everything became, what are all the things I need to do to get through this? What, 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 how do we get rid of this? There isn't one person that I would complain about Fox Chase, right? I can only say great things. It's the nurses who answer the phones. When I'm freaking out because the chemo made my tongue horrifically broken out, right? Uh, and I was in pain and, and, and I got to the point where I, where I was just crying. I could call and talk to a nurse and cry on the phone for half an hour and they were compassionate and caring. It didn't matter who I got. I did P90X every single morning before I went to radiation. And I would get here and it would be a standing joke. Did you do your workout? Yep, I did my workout and everyone would high five. But then when I finished P90X, an interesting thing happened. I thought, let me try to do something that would be really challenging. Let me try Insanity. Just put the DVD in every day and try your best. And what I found was that I was in better shape halfway through Insanity than I was before I got cancer. So if, if I can inspire one other woman to realize there's something I can do to help myself, whether it's a walk around the block, whether it's trying to do a pull-up or a push-up or yoga, you know, some yoga pose, you're focusing on holding the pose, you're not focusing on your cancer. My daughter is a high school senior. Not only do I want to be there for her through this, but I want to be there when she gets married, and I want to be there to be a grandmother, and not just be a grandmother, but help out. The girls that downstairs who, who administer the radiation, I call them my dream team. I wrote an email about the amazing care that I got from them. I looked forward to seeing them every day. I look forward to walking in there and having their smiling faces welcome me and put me on the table. It was, it's almost bizarre who looks forward to going to radiation. Dr. Hoffman, John Hoffman, who was my original doctor at Fox Chase and did mammograms and read the mammograms for, for me for so many years. This guy, when I emailed him, when I found my, when I found my lump, he became my quarterback. I referred to him as QB1 for all you football fans. Um, and he, saw, he lined up all of the doctors. He lined up, he said, this is the surgeon I want you to use, Marsha Boraz, she's wonderful. They're on my team. It was like they were my extended family. I still stop in to see them. I stop downstairs to, radi to radiology to see my dream team. And it's wonderful. If I run into my doctors in the hallway, they take a minute and they stop and chat with me. They're busy, but they stop and chat with me because they care. Fox Chase rocks. Fox Chase is the only place to go if you have cancer and you're anywhere near the Philadelphia region.